when i joined ek job i was not confident about speaking english i'm not that fluent till now but i am yeah. working on it i am when i gave mock interviews it boosted my confidence and uh, the thing about hr round i have taken two times mentorship of hr and both time i have <laughs> failed drastically like i scored like i guess 6 or 7 from okay. and one day before the hr round i took a mentor session so there the told the questions in general questions which are which are asked so it helped okay. a lot the mentor sessions were great people keep complaining about like there are no opportunities yeah i agree that there are less opportunities for non not obviously this is a field of technical field and there is less opportunity but when you get an opportunity you, you can't miss that so you have to keep working on your skills the work culture is like super here uh, like my seniors they are super cool they are very supportive actually yeah. <laughs> they are sitting beside me laughing but yeah they are literally like not for the sake of just saying because they are here they are really very helpful and it's it's great working here i okay. feel bored at my room actually <laughs> when there's a leave and <laughs> yeah Hi guys welcome back to our YouTube channel I hope you all are doing good we are back with a new video this video is going to be really important for anyone who has not done btech in graduation and still want to pursue coding as a career if even if you guys are looking for a transition into a uh, software development industry you guys can also watch it you find it really helpful so watch this video till the end and before moving forward take a moment to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon so that you are always notified on all our upcoming videos uh, so for this session we have uh, Akash with us akash is currently an acquajob student and he is also studying bca he will be graduating this year itself uh, he has been placed uh, as a full stack developer in pewtude uh, already so in this session he will be discussing how he got to know about acquajob and how his experience has been so far and how he uh, cracked this company as a full stack developer he will also be sharing few tips and uh, strategies for all those people out there who are from a non btech background and still want to Enter the software development industry. So do watch this video till the end. Uh, welcome, Akash. Congratulations for finally getting placed as a full stack uh, developer. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Okay, so my name is Akash Kumar. I'm a 2023 graduate. Today, uh, I'm I did my graduation in BCA, and also I'm from Lucknow. I'm a student at the AK job till now, and also I have joined Tutu as a full stack developer recently. So yeah, that is pretty much about me. Okay, great. So Akash, uh, you joined Akio Job uh, almost a year ago, right? So uh, can you tell us a little bit about your experience? Like, first of all, tell us how did you get to know about Akio Job, and then how your experience has been so far. Actually, I was looking for some uh, after placement thing. Like, there was some names like Newton School and Masai, etc. Mm-hmm. Then I compared the fee structure, etc. Like, I was looking on the internet, Google. So I got the least fee structure that was of Akio Job. So. i came to know it um, like i came to know about this from the google itself okay great and yeah. since you've joined akio job how the journey has been can you tell us a little bit about that yeah the journey was amazing it was it was good actually some mentors were like i can tell some names like samrat sir and hmm. uh, anurag nampalli and kunal sir they are the best mentors i have seen so it okay. was it was a great journey great so uh, akash you have been associated with us for a year now uh, can you tell us like uh, a little bit about your entire schedule like how did you used to study because you were already in your final year of graduation right so uh, there is some mm. pressure of also performing well in college keeping up with the classes and exams and then also giving uh, full attention to this course as well so can you tell us a little bit about your schedule like and what was uh, all the major uh, you know aspects of the acquajob job portal that you were using on a regular basis which Which has quite helped you in cracking this job. So I'll tell you about my like schedule. I was not giving much attention on like college thing because I was doing it from the distance and I had revised all the concepts. But I was more focusing on the things which I was learning in the AK job because the classes were from eight to eleven. Uh, Sometimes it it has gone up to twelve. I we have studied and the assignments we had to solve. So in the daytime I used to solve the assignments and revise all the concepts. sometimes i used to watch the recordings which wow. of previous classes so those okay. helped me and the best thing was one on one mentorship sessions 
whenever i had some doubts i can just simply go to mentor session and this out my all, all the doubts so that was the best thing okay great so uh, akash before finally getting placed in this company how many companies did you sit for i have applied for around four companies but this was the first interview i i Okay. I said for. So, uh can you tell us a little bit about the entire uh, interview experience in this company and like what kind of questions did they ask? Uh, what is their selection criteria and what was your mm-hmm. preparation strategy for this? Okay. So, the company was like preparing Node.js from the like portal section, but it was a uh, month stack developer role. So, more preferred was like React.js, the questions etc. First round was uh online assessment round which was which consisted of like two co- two questions one, one mm-hmm. was of the react and other was of node js and yeah. there were some mcq type things so that round cleared i have cleared and then there was a technical round uh, there were some questions of mongodb like <laughs> i won't tell the questions exactly but there the questions were from the mongodb aggregate concept was there and some concepts of react js and about node js like pagination sort of things how do we implement those things and then the third round was assignment round i got an assignment i have to do it and then there was a discussion round around that assi- assignment like how did i implement it and how it can be improved all those questions then there was an hr round so hr round normal questions hr round uh, overall it was a great experience because uh, our hr and sir who took our interview were so cool so yeah it got very nice okay thing. Great. So, uh, the interview rounds that you had, or even the technical rounds, do you think the kind of questions that were asked in the interview was something which was also covered in Akio Job curriculum? Yeah, they like those. Those are covered in the sections. Yeah, almost they are covered. Yeah. Okay. That. So you have done similar there questions. Was, in- there was no new concept asked. So. Yeah. Okay. Okay, great. So Akash, uh, like you mentioned, this is a full stack developer role, right? So mm-hmm. do you think that you had already prepared for this role? Like, have you completed all the modules in Akio Job, or was it something that you were already, uh, you know, preparing on your own, and that is why you were able to crack this? I was preparing by my own also, but uh, mm-hmm. I was in React JS module when this opportunity came to me. But mm-hmm. I have given the mocks of Node JS modules. because i had idea about it so i scored 9.5 i guess 9.95 actually so to so note this i have studied by myself and i was in the react js section so yeah i okay. have prepared about myself and also from the kid job okay great akash so uh, like you mentioned uh, one of their rounds was hr round right and uh, you also said that it was pretty simple for you to crack all of the rounds so can you tell us a little bit about how the hr round went like what yeah. kind of questions did they ask and what was your preparation and do you think somewhere you have improved in uh, you know communicating a little bit better and what all sorts of uh, preparation did you have for clearing the hr round I'll tell you some things like uh, when I joined IK job I was not confident about speaking English I'm not mm-hmm. that fluent till now but I am mm-hmm. working on it I'm when I gave mock interviews it boosted my confidence and uh, mm-hmm. the thing about HR round I have taken two times mentorship of HR and both time I have <laughs> failed drastically mm-hmm. like I scored like I guess 6 or 7 from mm-hmm. and one day before the HR round I took a mentorship session so there the told the questions in general questions which are asked so it helped hmm. a lot the mentor sessions were great 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 so even though you had failed in those uh, sessions that you had taken you were still yeah. improving and uh, at the end of the day you were confident enough to crack the hr out of that hmm. company uh great akash so uh let's talk a little bit about your uh, journey in akio job i have seen that you also completed 100 days of coding challenge which is conducted mm-hmm. right and you have also put up a lot of reels with us uh so can you like tell yeah. us uh, how something like 100 days of challenge or maybe maintaining a streak on the portal itself how much is it really like you know crucial to maintain that consistency uh for you know practicing coding every day so that you can crack a job at the end of the day actually it's about like i used to do a lot of data structure questions because the, uh, i was in the dsa round like mm-hmm. dsa path so it's like if you can if you don't practice for one day any data mm-hmm. structure and data structure questions you will just forget those things mm-hmm. like you are you are reading and you are just getting forgetting everything so i would solve at least three questions daily hmm. whatever it takes i have to do this so yeah that was the mentality and i did it basically you wanted to maintain that discipline of uh, solving questions every day and that was the reason uh, you 
participated in 100 days of coding challenge as well mm. great uh, great akash so uh, your uh, batch manager hitakshi has told me that uh, you are famously known as a doubt solver bhaiya in your batch right <laughs> yeah. so, tell us a little bit about uh, that name like why did people start calling you that actually like in our group when anyone posts any doubt i used to resolve that so they used to call me sir or bhaiya like they call me doubt solver bhaiya <laughs> like whatever doubt they they just throw in the group i just try to resolve those it's also a sort of my revision thing and i used to explain all those things sometimes i used to take them on zoom calls and explain the logics and intuitions etc so the that way they called it started Great. So I think you had this habit of helping people out with their coding doubts, and I think it helps uh, uh, to a large extent when you help people out with their queries uh, in clearing your concepts as well uh, about hmm. uh, and everything. How important do you think it is to uh, be like that in coding community, right? Because uh, in general, also the entire coding community is like that—that that people help out each other. They do a lot of hmm. open source contribution. right so do you think that has also helped you in becoming this good at dsa yeah sometimes it's like they are solving some new questions which i have never seen hmm. so the, when they ask that question i have to do brainstorming and i have to do those things so hmm. yeah that, these things helps a lot because hmm. uh, we get new perspectives sometimes they try to solve their own with hmm. some their unique styles or unique um, way of solving it so yeah. these things help you yeah, a lot uh, great akash uh, like you mentioned that this role is a full stack developer role so do you think uh, that you had uh, projects uh, related to full stack development only like till you applied in this company no It's i not didn't had any full stack no i had a project on node js only that was a back end project with apis okay. yeah. so whatever projects you have you just uh, should be able to make them understand about them about mm-hmm. them in depth uh, and then it's good to go Great. So uh, I have also heard that you also have your own YouTube channel, right? And you are yeah. a consistent content creator that there as well. So yeah. you are a student in your final year of graduation. You are also studying full time with us uh, and learning coding. And then you have gotten placed as well. You have joined the company, and you are also creating content on the side, right? So how do you manage so many things uh, at such a uh, you know small age? Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I post. rap songs on my youtube videos so hmm. that is sort of hobby thing for me and if you like to do anything you will just do it do that hmm. like it's not about managing it's about like if you like to do that thing you will manage it hmm. so that is the thing same okay. goes for the coding like it gives a kick sort of thing great so akash you are from a non btech background right uh, you have done bca and uh, people have usually noticed uh, you know that not as many opportunities when it comes to mm. maybe getting your short, resume shortlisted in the first round mm. itself for non btech people right uh, so there a lot of people feel uh, dis- demotivated and they feel that uh, what's the point of it if our resume is not even getting shortlisted right so what uh, sort of advice will you like to give to these people who uh, are uh, wanting to make a career in coding but then somehow opportunities are not much there these demotivating factors were with me also uh, when i was looking on the job portal i was not eligible just because of my degree or my graduation year criteria so yeah. i have asked like i have talked with lecture sir and even with the yash sir so they told yeah. me to like keep working on my skills and not to worry about the opportunities because it's about the it, i need only one opportunity to crack those things if i have those skills in myself so even if i get a, a single opportunity i can crack that same happened yeah. with me that it, it was the first interview which i gave Hmm. So that was the thing. Great. I think you just need to keep preparing, and as soon as an opportunity comes, you just need to grab it and give your yeah, best shot. Hopefully, you hmm. will be selected because the whole industry is like that—that that they just care about your skill and the kind of projects you have done. And in this case, nobody really cares that you have done graduation. Kisne ki hai. It's like people keep complaining about like there are no opportunities. Yeah, I agree that there are less opportunities for non. Non. Obviously, this is the field of technical field, and there is less opportunity. But when you get an opportunity, you you can't miss that. So you have to keep working on your skills. 
yes yes that is great akash so now let's talk a little bit about your experience in uh, tu dude uh, so you have already joined here you've been working now mm-hmm. so can you tell us a little bit about the experience you've had and how is the work like and the culture also the work culture is like super here uh, like my seniors they are super cool they are very supportive actually yeah. <laughs> they are sitting beside me laughing but yeah they are literally like not for the sake of just saying because they are here they are really very helpful and it's it's great working here i okay. feel bored at my room actually <laughs> <laughs> when there's a leave and, yeah great so uh, uh, akash can you tell us like what kind of project are you working on right now and what kind of technologies are you using there uh, yeah i am using monstack completely so okay. project though i can't say but i am using monstack and uh, that is a web development pro- project basically okay great theek hai akash i think uh, that was uh, awesome uh, listening about your experience and last question that i'm going to ask you would be about uh, uh you know uh, so there are people uh, there are a lot of students in akio job who are probably in their final year of graduation and uh, they have also a lot of things going on in their life and somehow they are able to take out time to do this forcefully so is there any sort of uh, advice or tips you would like to share with them that you also followed uh, and uh, they can also follow this and make their journey a little bit smoother uh, i have seen many people like they try to cheat in mock exams even i have tried <laughs> once <laughs> but th- it's not the way you can do it because at the end if you are if you are sitting for an interview in any company you can't cheat there like hmm. they think that passing modules will get them opportunity faster but it hmm. doesn't work like that so you have to work harder you just have to dedicate some time they want that i they don't practice questions and they just think that passing modules i have to score 9 above or i have to score 8 above in mock scores hmm. so that will help me getting the job like it mm-hmm. doesn't work like that brush up all those concepts which are taught i think th- those are enough only whatever is being taught here mm-hmm. okay great so you just need to follow the curriculum of akio job whatever you are studying do the questions regularly on a consistent basis and don't try to cheat in your module test because uh, anyway that does not matter in the long run you will have to prove your skills when it comes to cracking an interview so don't cheat at all that would be great advice akash okay so thank you so much that was an amazing uh, interview i'm sure people will find inspiration from you and start their coding journey soon thank you so much for taking out time to do this uh, in the office hours that is it for today's video guys i hope you all liked it with akash and find inspiration from his story please like and share the video and don't forget to comment your queries below so that we also cover them in our next testimonial video and if you guys are also excited about learning coding go to our website akyojob.com and register for our aptitude test uh, this test will help you discover which course be it monstack or java full stack uh, whichever is best for you and uh, both courses have amazing uh, instructors from top it companies and uh, both have access to one on one sessions with exceptional coders to mentor you for your next coding job so don't miss out on this incredible opportunity uh, just simply visit the link provided in the description below to learn more and register so if you guys are new to the channel then don't forget to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so that you are always notified on all our upcoming videos thank you so much